And welcome to this episode of What a Horse. We got a lot to go over today. Yes, sir. Got horse shows coming up, horse shows we've already done, a lot of devastation up in North mm -hmm. Carolina. I am, I just want everybody to know, I am very proud of the walking horse industry. Yes, I am too. They, uh, I've been looking at stuff, I've talked to so many people, Jerry, that's up there uh, that just, I mean, it, it, it's amazing how a group of people can come together in, in just a matter of short period of time and what all they've done since I think this is what, the 11th day? Yes. It's, uh, and they, there's some people that are members of the walk horse industry that has made more than one trip up there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mary Walton has done gone twice. Yeah. So. Uh, it's just up, but we got a lot of that we're going to go over in just a minute. The devastation, along with the walking horse industry and what they do when the need calls. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do your thing and we'll get done. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Instead of telling you about an affordable communication service that will save you money for a rainy day, I'm gonna let one of my clients from Columbia Dental Group tell you all about Host My Services. You're not losing any service, your phone calls, you don't drop any calls, have any issues at all. They have the app where if you have an off-site person, they just have the app on their phone, they can use it from there. Like you should definitely get a quote because even buying a whole new phone system is cheaper than what you're going to pay for with Verizon or AT&T or anybody else through them. And the quality is just the customer service. Customer service, I talk to you. Know. There's two things to remember when checking out Host My Communication Services. Number one is free analysis of your current communication cost. Number two is there's no capital outlay for the equipment. Two great reasons to call 931-581-4411 today and start saving for that rainy day. People in Tennessee are starting a movement. Ouch. Thank you. To clean up the litter on our roadways. Litter hurts our environment and endangers wildlife, and it affects our quality of life. Here, cut me. Thank you. Help keep our state litter free. Let's roll. Visit nobodytrashestennessee.com and be a part of the solution to end littering. Saving the best for last. That's right. Nobody trashes Tennessee. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, welcome back. 
I'm going to make a couple of announcements because we do have some good horse shows coming up. Of course, uh, North Carolina got rained out, and that was a shame because that was that, that was a great horse show. Yes. But we got one coming up in um, October 17th through the 19th in East Tennessee Fall Classic, and you can call Franklin Harvey 423-309-0556. They're going to start the show at 6 o'clock Thursday and Friday night, 5 o'clock Saturday night. And judges are Chad Adams, Kemp Martin, and Gary Wayne Smith. And then the celebration is going to be hosting the Fall Classic at Cooper Steel Arena on October 31st through November the 2nd. The judging panel for this year's show will be Lee Boyd, Renee Carlton, and Brandon Gibbings. And then we got the United Fall Classic, which is going to, or Fall Finale. It's going to be November 14th through the 16th in Tunica, Mississippi. Contact D, D. Cantrell, 706-366-1011. Start time each night is 6 p.m. Judges, Bill Cantrell, Rod Slagle, and Link Webb. They will mark the cars. That's, that's a pretty good group of that guys right there, ain't That is a good group of guys. I'm anxious to see what Bill does. I've never seen Bill judge. Yeah, I have seen him judge before. I haven't seen all three of them judge. They do a good job. Now, I've seen Link, and I've seen um, Rod. i tell you a little story about Link. Uh, Dr. Mullins was over the, the DQPs and everything back then. Yeah. They got a uh, call, a complaint. And Dr. <laughs> Mullins called me and said, Jerry, I need a copy of, and he told me, I said, he didn't see it. And he said, how do you know he didn't see it? I said, I know what you're going to ask me, and, I, and he didn't see it. And he said, well, i got to look at it anyway. I said, all right, I'll send it to you. So I sent him the video. He called me, and he said, you're right, he didn't see it. I said, I told you he didn't see it. And what it was, there was a horse that every time it got up next to the exit gate, it act up. But Link was down on the other end watching them come around there. He never saw it. Yeah. And the video showed when that horse went in front of Link, he was one bad cat. <laughs> but he'd get up on the other end and he'd show off every yeah. time. It, it, it was hilarious. But I, I kept looking. I'd look down there and Link would be looking at horses down here. I'd well, that's the biggest thing. If you if, if something happened behind you, you can't see you can't, it. You I mean, can't see it. You only can judge what's in front of you and what yeah. you see. That's why I told that's him. Right. I said, he did, uh, Dr. Baum judged one up in East Tennessee, up in uh, Cleveland. And uh, I was sitting there watching, and there was a horse get over in front of Dr. Mom. He was one bad dude. He'd get on the other side. He wasn't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> but you, that's one thing you can't say. If, if a judge sees it, I think you ought to call it. Yeah. But now, if he doesn't, you just uh, don't, you don't have an idea. That, that, that's head. right. You, you can't do it. There's, there's a lot that's going on in the industry right now, and, and we're gonna talk about it, but I just, I, to me, everybody's out here buying water. They're buying everything under the sun they can to send up there, and, and I think some of the items that were requested were cleaning materials, yes, uh, sanitary, uh, different, every, anything that's sanitary. Yeah. But they, I talked to one guy that told me that they was having problems with a lot of areas up there. You can't get water to them. Uh, some places that the, the sewer is even leaking out. It, it's just... It's rough. I just tell you, it's a bad situation. Well, this morning there was 17 vehicles. Yes. Left Shelbyville. I counted them. But the devastation up there, it, this is just one of them. And we've got more and more pictures that shows things that's going on up there. I mean, the, it's terrible. And Jerry, you know, the, the biggest thing of it, you know, you, we see these bigger towns, but you just figure them little small towns that's back off there, got this. There, there's one little town up there, MacNichol, and I was talking that it, it's gone. Yeah. I mean, it, it's completely gone. And but here's bridges knocked out, the, where you can't 
get from one area to another, yeah. they were bringing in portable bridges. Uh, it, it's just, it's just something that you look at and, and you wonder how that could ever happen. The first thing I wondered when I saw all this was what would happen if the dam at Tim's Ford broke. Yeah. And I, I believe I'm right when I say this, the water would go towards Bedville that, because they're lower than we are here in Coffin County. But just what would happen to the people in the, it, I don't know, it, this is, it's so shocking. But I do want to say this, everybody is quick to point a finger at the walking horse industry anything that's negative and i want to tell everybody that's watching this video you see what's going on up there it's terrible but in the last 11 days the walking horse industry without anybody saying hey do this took it upon their self you are, you're right now they are sending food for cattle horses dogs, cats, and people. Sending different equipment like that up there to help clean up. Well, I always say this this walking horse industry is just like everything else. I mean, we have our differences in between each other, but when it comes boils down to it at the end, all of us stick together and try to help each other and try to help people outside the industry that needs stuff like that. You know, you just looking at all the charities that you had at these horse shows. You just look at all this stuff going on right here. I mean, it is people, I mean, over at Lane Leverett Barn, over there, I mean, every day, he was on, I see them on there with Amy Campbell and Julie Lambert and all them on there, you know, getting stuff. People, cars were lined up all down the road, dropping stuff off at their place, semi-trucks where they loading up, you know. I mean, it's... Well, the walking horse yeah, industry... North I, Carolina. Just, they're un, it's to unreal how these people this will get together and, and and they don't, it, it's kind of like it, it's a magnet. They mention that, hey, we need help, we need this, we need that. And then all these people come together and go to up there like that. I know that uh, Perry Walden, he's already gone up there twice uh, they was carrying such a heavy load that he blew out two of his tires. Yeah. Uh, but you, it, it's just amazing how these people bond and do what they're doing. Yeah. But the thing of it is, you know, one day you have everything and then you look up the next day by a storm and you wipe out and you, and you don't have nothing. All your memories, all your clothes, your food, some of your family members is, is gone. Well, I know I talked to Jamie Hillis and he told me, he's, I told him, I said, well, I said, I'm, I'm dealing with things here. It's hard for me to get up there. And he told me, he said, Jerry said, you don't want to see this. I have seen devastation before, but it's just like this right here. I watched this morning as 17 vehicles left out and they was carrying everything from cookers. Yes. Now, this right here is Jamie Lawrence. They're leaving out from down there. I had his daughter send this to me. But I want, I want the public to know that the walking horse industry, y'all can say what you want to, but these people are here to help. Yes. And they will bond, they will battle, they will if somebody needs it, they'll find a way to get it. Amy Campbell. Perry Walden says she's the bomb, man. Says she gets She it. is. She's and she does. She She worked her she worked her tail off on getting all this stuff. I mean, every time you look up, I mean she was getting people out there to just say, come and help us separate, do whatever you want, want to. to. That's right. Give whatever help you can. And through, through my lifetime, I've seen some situations that were very bad. But like Jamie Hill has said, said, Jerry said, some of this up here, he said, 
I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Yeah. And it, but these guys, I'm gonna tell you, and I, I've got a list of them. It's just a bunch of super, super people. And they roll. Barry Walden, Lane Leverett, Jamie Hillis, Jamie Lawrence. This is just a, here's a short list of some of the people that are helping. Clay and Casey Sanderson, Joseph Abernathy, Dickie Garner, Dan Waddell, Robert Mims, and, and his wife, Amanda Warren Nims, which is his wife, <laughs> Tanner Burks, Whitley Green Burks, Ronnie Reed, Eddie Johnson, Jeff Green, Brad Beard, Frankie Rourke, Jada Plemon Calloway, Amy Cal Campbell, Julie Graham, Alan Price, Caleb Balcom, Kelly Duchelle, Chris Helton, Jeff Green, Brandon Tate, Ronnie Reed, Edgar and Crystal Abernathy. And the list goes on and on um, and on. Lori Toon. Took a big load out there this morning. His semi truck, Dick Peebles, did, left this morning. Yep. yep. Well, Dick volunteered his vehicles yeah. and everything, and, and we know Dick ain't in the best of health itself. Yeah. But the people that joined together and and are doing this, 17 vehicles this morning, and I mean it, it's it's unreal what this industry accomplishes in such a short time because. It's been a steady roll of vehicles going. Yes. And, and different people volunteering, churches, they got different locations. Lane Leverage was one of them where they was loading up. Out on 64, there's another location out there. I seen Edgar Abbott at the stables. They did yep. a bunch of stuff out there. Well, they came up the other morning. They left from uh, Mississippi coming. They are going to come through Shelbyville and going up to East Tennessee. But these guys, you see someone in the walking horse industry, it'd be nice if you just say thank you. Yeah. If nothing else, just say thank you for what you're doing. And I mean, you just imagine some of these people, you take Justin Janae, I see mm -hmm. them, they had a crew of people going up there with the horses yep. and, and trying to help find bodies that was out there. You know, and I mean, that's, it takes a, a big heart to do that, to just to load up and, and do stuff. It, I'm going to tell you, Jerry, it's a, it's a sad thing that this happened. It's a great thing of how people responded to it. Yes. And we're talking about people down here. I mean, we're not facing anything like that, but they are loading up. And going up there, they're taking everything from hay, horse feed, dog feed, cat food, uh, round bales. Steve Hawkersmith and Pam Hawkersmith, they, they, uh, and their brother and sister. They, yeah. uh, I talked to Steve. There's where Perry's tires blew out. But they, they ended up getting a finding a transport to take hay up there. Ronnie Tabor, yeah. he, he took a bunch up there. Uh, and I, I it, it's hard to mention all of them. It is, and it's, like I say, it's it's hard. But it's the, I feel for the people that was involved in the devastation that happened to them, their family, because you know, right now, they probably got people out there that don't even know where their mom and dad or cousins and brothers or whatever at right now. And still looking for him, or if you, would you ever? As find you can him? see, I'm just there's Ronnie Tabor now this. trying to figure out a way to get that hay off the truck. Ten times in so North Carolina. Yeah. Pull it off. Get it off. I figured the collection center could have or whatever. And finally, it's they were sending cow feed. This is a friend of mine. Hay, you know, for the cows. And yes. So. It, it. I don't know. I, I, it makes you wonder. There, there's Perry. Yep. Jamie. That Jamie Hill is there, ain't it? Mm-hmm. But here's a group. Frankie Rourke. He's out there. I mean, it's his... They backpacking in, into yes. the, some of the areas. I watched the video of a young lady walking up the road and 
she's 50 on it. She says, I'm just going to get back here and, and see how bad it's hurt, what all the damage is. And she got back in there to where her house was, and it wasn't there. So I that's mean, some of the things you face. But I know uh, Joseph Abernathy, he... Uh, he went up there and he, he said, I got the horses, I got the time. I'm putting everything on hold and I'm going to help these people. Yeah. And that's a, that's a super good thing. It makes me proud to be a member of the walking horse industry. I can me tell too. you that. You know, as long as they had danger, you put, you, they put themselves in danger of going up them, them hills and stuff like that on horses. You don't ever know what you come across. Well, slides or whatever, you know. That's so I mean, that's, that's when you say you putting your life ahead of somebody else's and you helping them out. It all, I'm going to tell you, it just, uh, I'm just proud. I'm proud of these guys. I'm, I'm proud of the ladies, the, everybody. Y'all deserve a big pat on the back because I'm going to, it, it's just a bunch of super, super good people. I think we're supposed to take a, a short pause for the our sponsors right now. Is that right? There's some. Giles Dunn is a leader in both cultures and lab-grown diamonds. Located at 234 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma, Tennessee, Giles Dunn is well known for his beautifully designed jewelry. From that special diamond for your special wedding day to the one that says I love you more, Giles Dunn is the place to shop if you want to say it with diamonds. Open five days a week and always ready to assist you in that one in a lifetime purchase. To set an appointment for cultured or lab grown diamond viewing, call 931-563-7800. Hey Tennessee, Ross Chastain here, the guy who likes to smash watermelons on the front stretch at Nashville Super Speedway. But you know what I never smash? Safety rules. Racing's all about control, and the same goes for life on the road. So use your melon and don't mix drinking and driving. It's like trying to race with a busted engine. Be a pit crew hero, and if you've had a few, pass the keys to a sober friend, because we're all racing toward a safer Tennessee, and we want you there at the finish line. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. You know, Jerry, this morning I, I talked to Mac Deacle for quite a while. He, he and I were both talking about, you know, sitting, getting different things to send up there. But I, I told him, and, and I mean this sincerely, the members of the walking horse industry are kind of like the minute man that you read about in history. Yeah. That ready in a minute. The way this industry responded to the need of the people in East Tennessee and North Carolina is remarkable. There's no yeah. doubt about it. It, it. It's amazing that they could come together with such a plan so fast and get up there and start helping people with the speed that they did, that everybody, it's just my feeling that everybody should just say thank you, we appreciate you, God bless you. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's it just. I mean, it is an amazing thing, you know, that's just like Lane and all the ones that went with him today. I mean, they going to places that haven't been helped yet, and they're going to they go up there for all week and, and cook and what? and stuff like that to try to feed the people and, and bring them stuff that they need. That's what he did, and it, it's just one of them. He, Lane, Lane is, is a super, super good guy. Yeah. 
Excuse me. But these are the people, and, and I want everybody to take a look at them, because these are, here's Clay Sanderson. Now Clay's got a wife, a child. Yeah. And Casey, she's out getting stuff together, and he's it with a group going up there to do work. Now these guys are putting their jobs on hold yeah. while they're up there working. There, Casey. It just, it, it's amazing that these people, they, they the way they did, the, the, how they came together oh, yeah. so quick. There's Joseph Abernathy. Now he's up there, pack animals trail yep. riding, he, he's going back into the wilderness. And I can tell you, fellas, I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. I truly do. You know, he got a family, wife, kids, I know, stuff like that. He got you a know? new baby. Yeah. That baby went on his first trail ride the other day with his mother. So they, they, these guys, they're a sacrifice. There's Dickie yeah. Garner. <coughs> These guys sacrifice a lot. But this is the the heart of the walk. Oh yes. Course. horse trainer, we got farrier, we got a little bit of everybody. and Amanda. They're both up there yeah. working. My hat goes off to all these people that took the time to go out there and do stuff like that. You know, I can tell you, I'm I am proud. I really am. I'm proud of every one of them. Just uh, Tanner Burke. Whitley. Yeah. Just. Here's Whitley. She's up there working. Ronnie Reed. Yep. Oh, it's, these guys, I tell you now, it, it just, uh, it just makes me proud. Yeah. And it does, that I can say that I know them. There's Eddie Johnson.
There's Brad Beard. Yeah. He was in it. Blaze Bacard was helping. Yeah. I mean, and I know I'm not naming them all. I, I know that, and I feel bad about it, but they just, uh, There's Frankie Roar. And you know, there's a lot of the trainers yeah. that, like you that I mean, you was injured, you can't go, but mm -hmm. I know that you sent stuff up so, there. Yes. Jimmy McConnell. There's a bunch of them that, that Dick Peoples. He sent his semi, let him take his trucks and, and trailer up there. There's Jada Plemons Callaway. Now she's doing a bunch. Oh yeah. Julie Graham and Amy Adams, uh, Amy Campbell. I mean, it, it, all these people. Now, Amy, I'm gonna tell you, she worked she, hard. She's a, she's she's a bomb, she, buddy. She she was she constantly was the, putting pretty much out there. The heartbeat of that. There situation. you go, Alan Price and his son. Now they, these are people that helped every way under the sun. There's Alan Price. Well, that ain't Alan, but that's Sarah. Yeah. And I guarantee you, she had. She had a lot to do with it. Too. We didn't have a picture of Alan on a horse, so we let Sarah take his place. Uh -huh. But you can bet money she she was sending yeah. stuff up there. And there's Kayla Balkum. She's up there working. Tyler Balkum was up there. I mean, this Jeanette. Yeah. I mean it and I know there like I say that we're we're not gonna mention everybody, we can't. But Lord knows I thank them all. Kelly DeSalle. I hope any that we're missing, which I know there's a bunch that they understand that we can't get them all. Even though I'd love to. Yeah. Lexi Stinnett. Now she's doing a bunch of yeah. Her. Mm -hmm. her and Chris Elton. Yeah. And Jimbo, Jimbo Connors. Jimbo's doing it. They're yeah. letting people be there to yes. distribute stuff. Uh huh. There's Chris. Telling oh, yeah. the people that didn't go up there but sent stuff from the tank up there. There's Jeff, Jeff Green. Green. He, mm -hmm. He's helping the oh, yeah. up there. So, everybody, I mean, it's just the fact that all these people come together.
There's Brandon Tate. Yeah. Super good guy, yeah. buddy. Lori Toon. Mm -hmm. Her daughter. Right there. Now, right there is a couple. Oh, yeah. They, they, they loaded up down there with several that came through Shelbyville going up. The, 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 yeah. Sure mm -hmm. did. Like Jamie Lawrence now I'm loading yeah. it up and coming up here. So they're getting help all the way from Mississippi. Yeah. People in the walking horse industry headed up there. So fellas, I'm I, I I'm just I'm just so proud that it, it it's hard for me to put into words. I mean it just, it really is. I tell you what we're gonna do now. We 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 acknowledged everything that we can. So we're gonna watch some Alabama Jubilee victory passes. That'll work. Hey, they, they had a good show down there. They did have a good show. Sure did. There's my major ordeal and Debbie Eichler. Tell you what, that a lot of people don't realize that that is one natural horse, yeah. but it just rare back and walks. Gets it done. I got a nice little coming two-year-old bear yeah. out of him. The only one, mm -hmm. only offspring right now, but there'll be more. And there's Cerveza and Tracy Askew for Rising Star Ranch. Debbie's proud of that horse, and that's one good horse, one real good horse. Oh, it is a nice horse, a real nice horse. Gets it done anyway. Debbie like Kimberly. She like to let people show her horses she and does. stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. she does. And her, her and Tracy are good buddies. Right here, sir, in Olivia Bowl. I'm glad that's my horse. Oh yeah, I tell you, I had a lot of calls about that horse and see how he thought that he done a real good job and I thought that he should done a lot better. Well, I thought he should have too, but. I'm gonna tell you, he he naturally does what he does. Oh yeah. You, you just get him out there and ride him and let him do his thing. And I can take him and, and at the end of the show today, we've got a little animated horse. Yeah. And you watch what he's doing. Uh huh. And you're gonna see the animated horse is that right there. That's right. Right. What else we're gonna do? I know. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams, our obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also, remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you 
I'm going tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to East Tennessee. From last year, we had a few people that ran ads from the, the show they had, and that's the one that's coming up. And yes. It should be a pretty good show. It was a pretty good show down there last year. <coughs> right there is I Am Mighty Jose and Tanner Burke for Shane Porterfield. You know, Shane and Porterfield, Jake Jacobs, and all them now, they're, they're furnishing a bunch of stuff yes. to go up there, too. That's a nice arena. It is. Oh, yeah. Real nice arena. They do a good job. Yeah. Right here is, and this is Candy Green. They showed that horse twice up there. that she lost that horse. But yeah. BB. Super young lady. And that's one that just flat, could flat, oh, flat yeah. walk, buddy. <coughs> Super Bowl MVP. Here's I Am Big Enough, and Maxine Beasley, for Beth Beasley. These young ladies will be back oh, in yeah. there next year. Mm -hmm. I just say they just giving everybody else a break <coughs> so they can win. That's it. Yeah. And here's Joe Pa. Shane Porterfield and Tanner Burks. This was your pro am class. Yeah. Getting it done. Nice horse, real good horse. It is. Real nice horse. Yeah. Right there, protest that and Shane Porterfield. Shane got a bunch of good horses. Yes, he does. Yeah, he got some nice horses. I think he's trying to group him with some together because of his grandchildren. Yeah. And I think that's what his ultimate goal is. And here's you, a Super Bowl MVP, and B.B. Beasley was reserve champion. Those young ladies are growing up and growing up quick. Yeah. So 
no jaws. All right, took care of that. I want to uh, give everybody a phone number. Amy Campbell, if you would like to donate for whatever and send to East Tennessee and North Carolina, call Amy Campbell at 931-224-4430. And that young lady will put you on the right track because she yes. is, as I was told by Perry Waldman said, she is the bomb. Yeah. And she is. She is. That she's, young lady. She's is, a hard worker now. She, when she put her mind to something, she gonna get it done. But she ain't the only one because she's got some help out yeah. there. She got Jada Calloway. She's got the Casey Cal Caldwell. Yeah. You, you name it. And she's got so many people out there helping her that it, un, unreal. But just uh, leverage. I mean, yeah. You, you could. I could go on and on and, and still not cover everything. But that that's, if you want to help, call 931-224-4430. I guarantee you, Amy's got a list. She will tell you what needs mm -hmm. to be done. Yeah, that's right. Now, I want to show this because I, I, I like everybody to know what a, a walking horse. People say, well, they're different, and they are. You got yeah. the show horse, you got the walking horse. But right here is the basic foundation of a Tennessee walking horse. Watch this. In describing the gates of the performance horse in the show horse division, these gates will apply to all classes in this division, regardless of age or sex. The flat walk should be true, bold, and four-cornered. The horse should nod the head with every stride and bring each forefoot to the ground a mere second before the diagonally opposite hind foot touches the ground. The number one factor that separates the walking horse from all other breeds is their head motion. If a horse is not shaking his head, he is not walking. The foreleg should move straight, not crossing or winging with his hooves, breaking at the knees and reaching forward in an elevated arc. The rear leg should follow through close to the ground, comfortable and overstriding the front tracks. They should be stretching, not squatting or cramping, with a lot of bend in their hocks. Notice the horse's back hoof up even with his front hoof. Stiff front or rear leg motion, stumbling, bucking knees, lack of rhythmic timing, pointing or favoring a particular leg, Necessity for excessive pumping or bumping of the horse are not typical of the walking horse, and the judge must immediately excuse any horse exhibiting this type of motion from the ring. The running walk should be the same general motion as the flat walk, but with additional speed. The horse shall exhibit a smooth, gliding, overstepping, four-cornered gait with greater stride and accelerated head motion. The running walk should be a free and easy gait, Horses exhibiting an exaggerated, hesitating way of going with a tendency to point with the front feet are not in form. Twisting of the hocks or stiff-legged rear leg motion shall also be considered a deviation from the true running walk, and a horse exhibiting these ways of going should be penalized. The canter should be smooth and straight on both leads, not walking behind, but cantering on both ends with a rolling, rocking chair motion comfortably in hand. Notice the horse leading with his left front leg going to the left and leading with his right front leg going to the right. Exaggerated pumping of the horse at the canter is not considered good form. The walking horse should move freely in each gait and proceed in a smooth, fluid, rhythmic manner. At all gaits, the horse should be flexed at the pole with muzzle slightly tucked. Any tendency to rack, pace, or other deviation from the true walk are not typical of the breed. The preceding mannerisms are not considered good form and shall be penalized in judging. All entries should be presented clean, neatly trimmed, braided, and in good flesh, presenting a healthy appearance. Each entry should be outfitted in clean and appropriate tack. The exhibitor of each entry should be neat in appearance, attired in properly fitting riding habits, and shall conduct themselves in a sportsmanlike manner at all times. A horse that has not performed all the required gates shall not be placed over a horse that has performed all gates. We're coming up to the fall finale 
in Samstown, Tennessee, or Samstown, Tennessee, Tunica, Mississippi, Samstown, motel where I stay at every year, they are offering a special where they got a small group of rooms now that the show special is Wednesday and Thursday, $39 a night, Friday, 79, Saturday, 89, and the code is 24 horse. Now you're supposed to make these online. You get online and just go to make yeah. reservations and look for the rooms with that code and you can place your reservation. If you have problems, I have been told that if you call the front desk for reservations and explain you're having a problem, they will do it for you. Yes. And you will still get those rates, which is substantial lower mm -hmm. than normal. I could stand a break myself. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm, I'm going back to the our buddies that are members of the industry. They're going up into East Tennessee and doing their things. I, I think that people are watching this show. If you know somebody's in the walking horse industry, you might just mention to them that you you appreciate what they're doing. Yes, because they, there's. They're they're helping a lot of people, a a lot. They're helping of a whole bunch of people, and and it's just, I mean it it, it's devastating when you you look at what's happened, but it makes you feel good inside to know that there's people like Amy Campbell, yeah, Lane Leverage, these people. I mean, and that I don't want to keep harping on certain ones because. There's others that these trainers, the Derricksons, the McConnells, Callaways, Greens, Peoples, all of them. They just do so much. You don't never, you know, I tell you, this, unless it hit to you, you don't realize the tragedy that people go through. I mean, a long time ago, I had that thing that had Katrina that happened down in Louisiana that mm -hmm. took all the people out, you know, and I had family members and stuff. So you don't ever know. One day it could be one of your family members. That's it. So, I mean, you, you try to do whatever you can take to, to try to help out. And it take a village to help everybody. Well, I can tell you what, what really makes me feel good is the how swift that they got together and did, I mean, it was just like they, it, it was like they had planned it for a year. Yes. And then bam, they did it. But they didn't have a year. They had a matter of just days or hours that they got together and said, hey, we got to do something. Like Perry Walden told me, he, he said, Jerry, he said, I seen what happened. I'm sitting there and he said, he told Kimberly, he said, I don't know, we got to do something. And he said by nightfall, Kimberly had done collected all kinds of stuff for the put on the trailer to take up there. Yes. And they all meeting at Edgemont Baptist Church, and then everybody was meeting at Lane Leverett's, and they're out at a location on 64. They just, just people saying, hey, I'll do this, I'll do that. And a lot of things you don't think about, and that's why I, I, I'm gonna bring this up. Lane Leverett brought this, I mean, to my attention, that got people up there that are hungry, and there's nothing like a good hot food when you're yeah. cold and wet. And believe me, they, some of those people cold and wet, and that's what he was talking about. Amy was talking about feeding 600 children. I mean, I tell you, it's, like I say, it's rough now when you got a kid that sit up there now, a grown person, it's, it's, it's bad to, to starve anybody. But now when you got your little kid that's sitting next to you and hungry and don't have nothing to eat, it, I mean, that's, it, that's, it, that's, it, that's, that's, gotta, that's it's tough. It's got to be devastating. It, it got to be devastating. I, and that's why I say, you can help, if anybody can help do whatever, I mean. It, it's, just, it's just the thought and what really amazes me, and this is what people need to realize. We don't get a lot of recognition for different things. They, they will point at us and, and trash talk us and everything, but these people, this is the walking horse industry. What's happening right now, what they did, and the speed they did it in, 
that is the walking horse industry. That is the members of the industry. Yes, that's right. These are the people that, to be honest, if I was down and out, I'd want somebody from the walking horse industry. I'd rely on them before I would anybody yes, else. Yes, you're and, right. And I'm just telling it like it is. I would say, hey, it's just like when, when you got hurt. Oh, now, I tell you, I had a lot of people that came up, ste stepped up, and helped me a lot. Hey, you know, um, I had them calling me, telling me, what can we do to help Jerry? So I know I, I really appreciate everything that people do for other people and stuff like that. Like my wife, I mean, she worked at that Newell place and burn all the boxes and all that stuff to stack all that stuff in and all, you know, but I mean, she been, her and Amy been on that phone talking to each other all the time and doing stuff, you know. Well, so, it, 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 this is a good thing. I like you donating all that stuff for the dog food, well, for, I'm, for I'm, animals I'm, and stuff like that. I mean, it just, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it ain't just people, it's animals as well. And then they won't say how horrible we are to animals and we are taking and help feeding yeah. animals and stuff like that, you know, and that's the biggest thing that gets me. It was the first thing my wife said when I was telling her, well, they're, they're getting pampers, they're getting uh, food, milk, nursery stuff. And she said, but Jerry, what about the, what about the dogs and the cats? And, and some people think one way, some people think the other. We, we had one lady that was talking about, well, think about the cows. They, they, they got to be taken care yeah, of yes. and, and the horses. So everybody gets together and like we got dog food and cat food. And I think you said, hey, there's some money left over. We get beanie weenies, weenies and yes, stuff right. like that. Mm -hmm. But the first thing my wife thought about was the cats and the dogs. Another lady thinks about the horses. Other people think about the kids. And, and what it amounts to is a lot of people caring. Caring, that's right. And caring a lot. So again, I want to give you all this number. Anybody that wants to help, call Amy Campbell, 931-224-4430. And just ask her, say, what do you need? And then go from there. That That's what I did. And that's what a lot of people are doing. Just you give what you can, you help how you can. But number one, you see someone in the walking horse industry, just take a moment and thank them for what they're doing. You are, you are exactly right. A good thank you goes a long ways. I just want to say everybody down in Florida, I hope you be safe because I heard they got yeah. a storm coming our way. It, it's coming there now. We'll see everybody again see next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, uh, please start talking.